Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I want to take a minute to uh, kind of do like a little review or whatnot. To a, it's the first pickup for my oldest daughter. Uh, this was her first vehicle. And she was only had it a few months, but back before Christmas, uh, she needed something. Because honestly, as a teenager in high school, with her schedule, sometimes she had a, a busier schedule than uh, my wife and I combined. So I got her this thing. So yeah, this is a 95 F250, 73 power stroke. It's just a two wheel drive version. But for a you know a 16, 17 year old girl, it's it's a it's a cool pickup. And honestly, I tried to talk her out of it for a minute. And it had some issues that I've worked out of it since we've had it. It's got a few more we need worked out of it, but it's a decent pickup for a high school kid that you know just learned how to drive. And it's big enough and heavy enough that if anything happens, you know, they'll be they'll be safe inside of it. It's a full frame pickup, it's heavy. And if you ever have to tow anything or haul anything with it. She can actually. She used it to move uh, all of her stuff to our new house. So, and it's got some issues. It was an old beat up work truck, uh, so we got a fairly good deal on it uh, back before Christmas, which was kind of her early Christmas present. But uh, and there's not really anything special about it. It's just a, a first vehicle, first truck for a teenager. Um, probably wouldn't have been my first choice, but um, hey, she likes it. We had to put these doors on here because one of the doors didn't have a mirror on it. So I found a pair of doors that had matching mirrors. So you can actually see that the uh, the door panels are blue instead of red. But the one door was missing a door panel. So even though they're blue, it's, it's, it's kind of an upgrade because now she has two door panels and the handles were broken. Both inside door handles were broken. The door on that side didn't even shut. The original door that was on it. So we mounted these doors up, her and I did together, because it had the heavier duty steel mirrors on it. The only mirror that was on it on this side was a, a, a plastic, a black plastic mirror. And uh, like I said, I had to fix some things on it before she could drive it, but I managed to get all those fixed to where we got it legal and insured. And it's, and it's in her name. It's legal and in her name, it's her truck. So she can do whatever she wants with it. And, and most of the issues now are just cosmetic. As you can see on this side, it's the worst part of it. Of course, the other the other door was worse than this one. So even though this door was a little banged up and whatnot, the other door was in worse condition and it didn't have a mirror. The handles were broken. Uh, there's parts out there. You can find parts for these. You can find most, most of the F-150 fenders uh, will interchange as long as it's within the same year and the doors will pretty much interchange most of the years. So I find parts out there, but she just drives it. And uh, we've had to replace uh, like a power steering line, you know, some batteries, reduce some battery cables, fix a couple fuel leaks, just minor stuff. We fixed the, on the rear diff, it has a, uh, a speed sensor. I didn't know this, but on, the, on these, they had a, a speed sensor on the differential up on top that controls the speedometer. So when it didn't work, I just went to that sensor and saw that apparently they were really hard on this truck and they just, they beat it. And it, it somehow had ripped those two wires and I just replaced those wires, or not replaced them, but I repaired them and the speedometer started working. So right now, the hotter it gets, the only issue we've got right now is just getting the AC working. But we've kind of been chasing a, a battery draw issue that I think I finally got tackled. And uh, it'll need some tires at some point. So yeah, the 73 Power Stroke is still a pretty desirable truck, and honestly, this truck had right at 300,000 miles on it when we got it, and um, she pretty much just drives it back and forth to school, and since uh, December, I think, she's put 1,300 miles on it just herself, just driving it to and from school, but she has a pretty busy schedule. So yeah, for a 95.73 with 300,000 miles on it, it actually runs pretty good, and the only issue I really have with it, or the thing that bothers me the most is on, uh, when it's extremely cold outside, these don't like to start. These start extremely hard, and sometimes you don't get them started. Uh, if it's cold enough, uh, even the blockaders plugging them in in the cold weather, and then trying to start them, sometimes it doesn't start. And I'm, honestly, times it gets bad enough, we actually spray it with just a little bit of ether, a little bit of starting fluid to get it started. And sometimes here in Texas, it's been cold enough, it actually didn't work. So that's my only drawback from the 7 3 But other than that, they're really good pickups. I wouldn't mind finding one or two more. Um, so yeah, that's my kind of little walk around and review of the of the daughter's first vehicle. Thanks guys.